We continue. We were discussing oneness, unity, the idea that all of you are a part of a consciousness. Many of you have a problem with that. You have been taught thoroughly and well over many lifetimes that you are separate and unique. And you have been also taught that you are separate in every other way possible. And those ones over there bode you no good. And those other ones are truly dangerous. And just forget about the ones we haven't even mentioned. There was, no, there is, a reason for this. And you know very well that it is a mechanism to keep you all apart and under control. You cannot be made to treat someone that you care about as an enemy. And profit requires enemies. The security of the top layer requires enemies among the lower layers. This is the concept that your world functions upon. It is not true, but it is believed, and belief creates. Belief creates BS, belief systems. What we want to replace that with is not exactly a belief so much as it is what you each know full well in your heart, in your gut, is truth. You know that your neighbor, that man, that woman, is exactly like you in his heart, her heart. You know they bleed red. You know their blood can save your life. Why because it is the same as your blood. You know they want the same things that you want. The problem there lies in lies. The belief system that there is not enough to go around is that lie. And it is easy to prove it to you if what you need is held from you or from him. Then all that needs to be done is for that to be shown to you. See? They are starving over there. Never mind that there is enough in dumpsters to feed the world. But that is another story. The concept that you are a part of a unity is very easy to see if you can look around and suspend doubt for a moment. You understand it in ants, bees, flocks of birds, and schools of fish. It only takes a small change in viewpoint to see that there are many unities to which mankind belongs. There are city consciousnesses. There are those of sororities, fraternities, colleges, states, countries, races, religions, and many more. In fact, the very existence of these is used against you. Is it so difficult then to see the oneness of humanity itself? No, it is not. As a matter of fact, the great awakening that is spoken of so much is largely an awakening to that fact. Now, if that is a problem for you, then you are really going to enjoy it when you are faced with understanding the oneness of all life. But that little lesson is still just a small distance away on your path. You can make it somewhat easier if you begin to tune into the oneness of the various life forms on your own planet. It will be less of a jump to include that from other places in the universe. All of this is understood by many on your world. This has, however, been kept well out of the mainstream, as you term it. You are constantly being bombarded with the mantras of divide and control. And why constantly, do you imagine? We are happy to say that the reason is that you are indeed waking up to the game that is being played upon you. In fact you have reached what is termed a critical mass. You are about to witness how amazingly fast a worldwide change in consciousness can manifest. This is happening now. Get your popcorn. Grab a beer and your favorite seat. And watch the show. Of course you may choose to do your part. Good for you. We will speak again soon. Peace to you this day.